Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Silver Informed Jordan Ayu, plays for FC Lorient in the Liga 1, he's 6 foot tall, right footed, he's got medium medium work rate, a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 83 agility, 81 shot power, 80 long shot, 79 sprint speed and 79 volleys. We have also included all the upgrades out, uh, from his non-inform as a comparison for you. So you can see all the each individual stat increases of all these stats. So you can always pause the video for a close look at any of these if you want. So this is the team we'll be using in form AU in a 4-2-3-1 league earned team. Silver and gold one with AU up top at striker. So now onto the gameplay so you can see how he was performing. Now his card does actually look pretty, pretty nice with his 79 pace, 79 shooting and 78 dribbling. Does have some decent on-card stats and has had a plus 6 shooting boost on his shooting as well. And in-game, his stats were pretty well-rounded, especially for a striker. His only real poor stats being actually his defensive stats. So it does make him really versatile. And I do know we can actually play in midfield as we did use non-informed Jordan Ayew in our Silver Africa Cup of Nations squad builder, which is on our channel we did a while back. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to look at it. So pretty much every area of Jordan Ayew's game is solid. Decent pace on him, doesn't struggle in pace, good dribbling and help with his uh, 83 agility as well, so can actually jink through the players and has a decent short pass on him as well, good for link up play and creating and he does have some great finishing on him for a silver and he certainly can put the goals away in front of the box, was pretty clinical in the box, especially for a silver striker. The weird thing was with Jordan Ayew, every time we scored, the opponent just quit. I have no clue why. I don't know if they're scared of Jordan Ayew, but it's not like we're playing with legend players or we're playing with Team of Year Ronaldo or, or anything like that. It was only Jordan Ayew, but for some reason, they were just quitting after a scored. So we didn't get actually a lot of game time. We did play a few more games to give him some more game time. His goals were a bit limited due to the amount of quitters we had. Now, he does have medium, medium work rate, which I do not like on a striker but as we said he is versatile can be played as a centre forward or a cam if you like where they would suit him better now his 3 star weak foot was not actually that bad did get a couple on his left so he does make a cracking well rounded striker who will be great to partner with second in form Maiga up top in a silver league earned team if you get them two up top they're going to make a cracking strike force for you so let's have a look at Inform Jordan Ayew's performance stats. So in nine games, he did score 10 goals and get two assists. All stats are on the left. Goals are on the right. Position map shows you where goals are scored and assists were created as well. So overall, we're giving Inform Jordan Ayew an 8.5 out of 10. Great silver striker with well-rounded stats. As we said, great all-round versatility with him. I really think he can play anywhere from a striker, even down to a centre midfield, as we have tried him at that before. He's versatile. Now, while he doesn't have any absolutely amazing standout stats, he does have really solid all-round stats. And he's great shooting-wise, great in the box, has a decent long shot in as well. The only bad points were his work rate, which I do hate. And his attack positioning wasn't too good either, so his movement is a bit limited up top. If you're finding a lack of movement, do play it on attacking ultra attack and he will be pushing forward more. But still does a good job up front uh, and obviously can play centre-forward or can. So finally, we're just going to leave you with info on Jordan. I use positives and negatives to look at. Now his price range is 30 to 45k, which is a good price for a silver inform striker. But you know what's coming next? He is hard to find on the market. That's just the way it is with the market these days. It's so frustrating. If you really want him though, don't give up. It did take me a hell of a long time to try and find on the market. Searching every day for him. But you can get him in the end if you keep persevering. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We try to do the most in-depth reviews on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Loads more to check out. Loads more to come as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Appreciate it. Cheers, lads. See you later.